Hello, I'm imbecile. Today we have reached 2800 mmr, sitting at top 218. Today, in this video, I will make some guide to counter anemones. So let's jump to the replays. So, in the last video, I mentioned that the aqua should be at the bottom, not at the top. Why? Because of this kind of situation. They will of course put the most annoying one at the bottom, and we want to kill them, straight away. Here I did the attack because the card is just not enough to damage it because um, let's see, 120 plus 20 plus 15 plus 15, it's not enough to kill this guy so I pass. So again, I don't want to attack when I cannot kill them. Let's see what I do here. So here I underestimate the enemy a bit. Um, I should use uh, this one, but let's see. Yep, I should have at this one, but somehow I was expecting this person not to play. And if this person pass, he probably would survive. But however, I have the speed plus, and I just finish him with finish him off with uh, risky fish. But this is not the end of the world. Let's see how I deal with this. and the plant attack upwards this is bad but it gives me more challenge because of this situation it would be great if the plant attacks the bottom let's see how i deal with this of course i try to use um, risky fish to kill this um, aqua however the damage is not enough so because of that I prepared another card on the mid laner to kill this one. I mean, if this fish enters into a last stand, this mid laner will attack upwards. But this is also okay because the, aman the anemone just died. Yep, the situation is really good. This person doesn't have um, eggshell, it's another bonus for me. So here, um, I actually want to use um, Crimson Water and Shield, but I don't have the cards because in this kind of situation, Crimson Water is like the best card ever, it just backdoors, you see? target injured enemy if this axi HP is below 50% and this enemy is also injured so here because the enemy doesn't have eggshell I just use um, three cards to kill If this enemy have eggshell, probably I would have used two cards because I was expecting um, eggshell here. Here we have the Goda version. So there is the upside of having the enemy slower than you. However, this can be a curse for you as well. Um, in 1v1 with the backliner, you want them to be faster because um, since you are slower, 
they will attack you first then you just put a bit of shield and speed plus then you give a bit of damage then that's when you can kill them because you're fast the next round so here I did something interesting well usually they pass but I just I just want to try to steal that energy I just want to make sure that they have two energy because with two energy they pretty much cannot do anything and I, and I can buy time to collect cards to one shot them so of course this is rather disappointing they also destroyed my energy even worse so here we have two energy together of course I have to pass then here let's see we are faster like the mid laner and the back laner is faster so this is a good method to attack together I know it's a bit funny that, um, what is it called? I use uh, upstream with a revenge arrow, doesn't need the speed plus, but I, I really need to do this. So here is with 3 energy and I have 4. And I pass because I thought this aqua is going to play something. Um, if I were him, maybe I would try to shield, but this guy did something interesting by passing. There's a visual error here, it should be on the back. So here, what did I do? I just want to buy time. Here I just want to buy time. Then I know that um, they just cannot kill my Aqua. Because um, I was expecting like um, maybe one eggshell and four anemones. Here I made some interesting decision. I did not use um, what is it called? Four cards, but only three cards, because I knew that this person cannot defend the anemone. Like it is unlikely that he's able to defend. Besides, I have a speed plus. So what will the enemy do? Of course, they want to use the eggshell. So I overcommit on the bird and use four cards to kill. But I just read the situation. So this bird got baited. I mean, I read him, I read him. Yep, this is annoying. He has the energy. Then I'm also faster than him. So this is like a curse. Let's see how I deal with this. So for this, why did I decide to pass? Because um, I don't want this guy to be faster. I mean, how can I make him faster? By attacking him, of course, because lower HP means more speed, basically. So I have 55 speed, he has 55 speed, and if this person has lower HP, he will be faster. Uh, it's okay to pass because I know that, um, what is it called? I have 5 energy and he cannot one-shot me. So here he got baited by me. He got baited that um, he play all of his shield cards and next round he doesn't have shield. So he can do that in a very bad situation. Knowing that they cannot kill you in one shot. If I were him, I would do I would only play three cards. So next round I can guard the incoming attack. 
But maybe this guy panics and can use that kind of strategy. So that's it for today. I hope this video is helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It will help my channel to grow. See you next time.